calling UMD's last SCSU. Any opening words, Coach? No, another uh, another tough loss. I mean, I thought uh, we did some things better tonight. I thought our five-on-five five play was better tonight. Um, again, our power play didn't didn't score, and you know, one of their best players, uh, Perbic, scored in the overtime. But uh, again, a hard-fought game. Every game's been a goal <laughs> between our, our two teams, and you know, right now uh, we're not finding. Uh, we're not finding the puck luck or we're not finding enough to win hockey games. So we've got to keep going at it and it's, uh, it doesn't change. The Matt Wellens. Scott defensively was a much better effort. You felt tonight and a good um, rebound for your team in that area. Yeah. I mean, you know, again, they're a tough team to defend. I thought we did better things. I still thought we, we still couldn't get better with the puck, but overall, yes, I thought, I thought our five on five play was better and, I don't think they had a lot of five on five opportunities, uh, some of the power plays. And, um, but again, you got to score more than zero, you know, and obviously, you know, it was almost, almost had to do a shootout and, you know, but yeah, for the most part, it was better. Back to Matt. Scott, offensively, what needs to happen there? Is it as simple as just getting more pucks and bodies to the net or is it? deeper you feel for you guys right now? Oh, I don't know. I thought, I thought we did, I thought we did a better job of, 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 of puck possession tonight, but again, you know what, they, we got to get shots through. I mean, they block, they block some shots and we got to get a little hungry around there to try and create, uh, you know, maybe some second opportunities. And um, right now we're squeezing it. So uh, sometimes, sometimes you try harder, you end up doing less, but you know, I thought our offensively, we were a little bit better tonight and, well, again, they're they're a good defensive team too. So I mean, that's why it was zero zero. I mean, you know, neither team neither team scored until obviously the three on three. Back to Matt. Scott, it almost looked like a mirror images. The two teams both knew what each other were going to do. You're pretty well familiar with each other now, and it's almost like a shame you had to count a goal here. You left the nets away. It was a hell of a game. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what happens when you play each other four times in a row. And right. You know, still two two good teams, and you know, like I said, every game's been decided by a goal. I mean, their three to one win was an empty netter, so it's not like it's uh, it's been any different. And you know, um, we'll see them again at the end of the year. But we gotta we gotta just keep working. You know what? Sometimes again, I tell our guys, you got you go through adversity, you gotta fight through it. You know what? We have a good group. We gotta just uh, they gotta have a good week and get some you know get some of that you know swagger and confidence back and. Uh, obviously, we're going to Miami, which is a tough, tough road trip. Uh, it plays a, a hard, heavy game, and you know, again, it doesn't get any easier in this league. But you know, we we got to learn from the stuff here, and you know, just we just got to keep improving. And are there ball. any are there any teams quicker than your two teams? These two teams are so quick, and they do everything: play physical, uh, make plays, attack. Yeah. Well, you know what? It's kind of our league, John. Uh, you know, again. Right. I mean, other things too with with them too that uh, we even saw in the pod. I mean, they were one of the quicker teams. And there's a lot of teams that can get up and go in our league and, and, and transition well and play, you know, play north quickly. And you know, they're another one. And, and, and we can too when we're when we're on our game. Back to Matt. Scott, what'd you think of uh, Zach Stakesell coming in there and making his uh, second? Career start. Well, he was doing great. He didn't give it up a goal. You know, there were some rebounds that probably he wanted to clean up, but for the most part, he was stopping the puck, and that's what you ask your goalie to do. Unfortunately, he didn't get the last one, but I thought, uh, you know, not having played for a while, I thought he he played well, and you know, that's that's good for us too. And um, so overall, I was pleased with this game. You know, I just felt bad for him at the end too, because I think uh, he probably deserved a little bit better. And, hoping to get a goal the other way or two, even during the 60 minutes, but it didn't happen. And, you know, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately that one went in, but no, he had a strong game and, you know, again, it's something that he can build off of too. Do you have any final questions here? One more from Matt. Scott, the trip to Miami this week, uh, is, is that still going to be a flight for you guys? How's that going to be? Yep. Definitely... Yeah. It's a flight. Okay. Any, anything changing with that, that trip for you guys though at all with, with the pandemic here, this is as usual. Okay. Well, I don't know. We're leaving on Thursday. That's all I know. So back on Sunday.
I know you probably you probably can't say anything about Kaiser, although we'd like to ask you if, what happened to him. But uh, it's, with with whatever the injury is, uh, do you expect him back? Uh, I haven't talked to our trainers, but um, I hope so. Um, you know, hopefully, hopefully he can be ready to play this weekend. I don't know. I'll probably find out more uh, later tonight, or or for sure by Monday. You know, I'll probably know by tomorrow, but. You guys, you guys might not know until Monday or Tuesday. What did you think about Goats? The Goats played, went in and made a great hit behind the net right away. The guy tried to run him and just got himself knocked flat. And well, he stepped in guys, and played very forcefully. Those guys, those guys, uh, they're getting they're getting minutes and, and they're learning and how tough this league is. And you know, it's only going to benefit them down the road, um, just like everybody and. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's good. I mean, we don't know, like, you know what, uh, if guys can't go, you know, we've got, we've got those guys that have played a little bit. So it's not like they've been sitting on the sidelines. So uh, overall they're, they're learning, they're learning. I think there's some really good parts to, to what we've seen out of those, out of him and, and, you know, Connor Kelly. And um, so that's, that's a good sign, but you know, every weekend's different in this league. Right. And it's, uh, you got to be prepared to play no matter if you're a freshman or a senior. Well, it really is. That's kind of what I was getting at when I asked you about you and St. Cloud being as, as quick as you are. You're not going to see as much quickness at Miami, but I mean, does this game get you set for a pace that you can, you can maintain this tempo. You can do fine the rest of the way. Yeah. We're going to see a different style. I mean, obviously they're, they're a team, you know, Burgess teams are, are, hard to play against. They don't give you a lot of room on the rink. Um, they don't make it easy to get the speed going. So you know, we're going to have to navigate through that. And, you know, uh, it'll be a lot different than probably, I won't say a lot different. It'll be a little bit different than what we've seen this weekend or the last four games against St. Cloud. All right. Thank you for your time, coach. Yeah, thanks. Zach, take us through the mindset for you. Uh, pretty long uh, stint here in between starts for you. How different is that for you in your hockey career? And, and how do you stay ready for, for nights like tonight uh, when you do have long waits like this? Yeah, um, I just think that I've had a lot of experience playing junior hockey. And, you know, sometimes uh, sometimes you have those long breaks. And uh, I think I've, I've learned from that. So it's, uh, it's been a good transition, I think. So. Zach, the three and three goal is, is a tough one. It's always tough. but. Uh... That guy's a pretty good player, and he came down the middle yet between your two guys coming back. Where did the shot go? Uh, I think the shot trickled uh, over my pad and uh, wide in my wide in my breezers there. So, yeah, I just through. I, I almost got got it, but you know that's just how she goes sometimes. Did you get a piece of it? I did. Yeah. Okay. Over to Matt. Zach, from that first start you made in the pod to today, where do you feel you've improved the most? And, and where has maybe Brant Nicklin helped you the most uh, since he got here? Yeah, so <clears throat> we're on the ice pretty much every day with him. And I think he's helped me a lot, just kind of uh, settle down my game and, you know, focus on every single shot and not 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 get too far ahead of myself. Um, but I think, uh, yeah, he's helped he's helped a lot. We'll go to Alicia and then a final question from Matt. Um, to have kind of your first start at home go into OT, talk about how that marathon went for you. Um, how did you stay in it that long? Yeah, obviously, uh, as a goalie, you kind of have to stay in it the whole time, right? Um, so just like I said kind of previously, it's shot after shot. You just have to stay focused for every shot. You never know what's going to come. Um, but I think I did a good job today doing that. Over to Matt. Zach, what's going through your head when uh, your former high school teammate Micah Miller is coming down the ice one on one with you there? Did you you did realize that was him coming at you? Yeah, yeah um, I've seen his shot too many times in high school to 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 not know that was him. But um, obviously, I wasn't gonna let him score there because you know he'd have bragging rights over uh, over the next summer. But uh, no, I mean uh, he's he's a good player. He's he's got a good shot and. I, I got the stick on it. All right. Thank you for your time, Zach. Thank you.
to Noah Cates following uh, UMD's last SESU. Noah, you guys had a longer, a uh, bit more hard fought game tonight. How do you think you played? Yeah, um, better effort from from our group. Um, we're happy with that. Kind of tightening some things up uh, defensively and being a little harder to play offensively. But uh, we got to learn how to win these one goal games. And uh, coming down the second half of the season, uh, only 10, 11 games left. So we got to learn how to win these games for playoffs. Over to Matt. Now uh, you guys had, had the puck a lot tonight, a lot of ozone time. Uh, what do you need to do to, to maybe get some more shots through this this Huskies team? Is, this, is, it, is it as simple as just getting more pucks and bodies to the net here, or is there more you guys need to do? Yeah, um, I think it's more of a mentality for us, but uh, I think there's different different ways we can do it, going low to high, uh, D to D, D getting shots through, uh, using the back of the net, kind of using using the whole, whole ozone, not just kind of staying in one corner, but uh, they did a good job, but uh, there's things that we can work on and clean up and make it harder for them to defend for sure. Back to Matt. So, uh, uh, your thoughts on uh, Zach Stakesel coming in here uh, tonight and nearly uh, pitching a shot for you guys until, you know. Yeah, yeah that was awesome. Uh, he was huge for us. Uh, he's been he's been battling and practicing and stuff, so uh, happy to see him play really well for us, and uh, we just wish we kind of gave him a better result at the end there. Back to Matt. No, what was the key to a better defensive performance out there tonight? Was it, did you guys feel like you took a lot better care of the puck? Um, what allowed you guys to really control that that pace, even though you were able to score? Yeah, we had a huge emphasis on getting pucks uh, in their zone or out of ours. Um, starts there, but uh, when they do get their chances in their ozone time, we're closing gaps uh, quickly and uh, just kind of being more structurally sound. Uh, wingers weren't getting caught everywhere, and we just had good uh, – Good structure, closing gaps on them and making it harder for them. You have any final questions for Noah? All right, thank you for your time, Noah. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.